This is going to be a reading for the Gemini energy. What messages do we have for uh, for Gemini today, for the Gemini watching? Is there anything you want the Gemini energy watching? What's going on with them? It's their past energy. The Fool. Surpassed energy. The current energy for the Gemini watching this. You may need to know. Current energy, two of wands. It's the future energy of the situation involving this Gemini energy, please. And the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Oh, bottom in the deck, Ace of Cups, Cup Overfloweth, below that the Hermit, and the Six of Cups. Oh. The Cup of Love, the Hermit in your head, or someone ghosted, did, uh, did you try to give your your cup to someone, it ghosted, six of cups, old energy, past love, old love, past love energy, that's sad, that sucks, sorry Gemini, yeah, under that hanged man, alright, focus, um, let's see, Okay. Well, anyway, all right, let's past energy, the fool. So you took a leap of faith. You took a leap of faith. Uh, it led to you having to make a choice. Let's, let's ask more, because I, I want this leap of faith um, seeming like it has to do with the, your cup of love. Maybe you ghosted someone. Let's ask. Let's find out. Is this your story? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, I shouldn't ask this yet. But... <laughs> Tell me about the energy of this Gemini in general. Like, uh, this fool energy and having to make a choice. Tell me about this person's energy, this Gemini's energy. Jellyfish, wake up calls, being in the flow, regeneration, immortality, and intuition. I can't barely read my fucking hammer. Right and under that, the wolf, guardianship, loyalty, trust your heart and mind. Yeah. Can you tell me about this fool? For the past full energy, page of wands. Oh. And the Hierophant. Alright. Gemini. <clears throat> uh, were you in a serious relationship? A marriage? Did you go off? Like, uh, choo choo. Took the choo choo train to, uh, Cooter Town or something. Made a foolish uh, leap of faith with someone. Because currently it looks like you are stuck between, like, Two of Wands is looking out at possible, like, hey, you know, this path or that path. Not knowing which path to take. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'm not going to ignore this. The Tower. This is the fucking Morse card. <laughs> it's not a good card. Alright, look. I'm not gonna beat around the... the 70s, uh, overgrown cooter bush. I'm gonna be straight with you, man. Okay? Gemini? I mean, being a, if you're a true Gemini energy, I think you appreciate the truth, right? Uh, 
This is a tarot card. It actually flipped up when I was asking about the choice. So I'm going to take it because that's, I take cards if they fall and stuff. I look at that like it's meant to. Um. So the tower. Current energy. All right. It's seeming. I mean, I don't know where this is going to go. But it's seeming like in the past. Yeah, you were a fool. Just straight up. I mean, an immature fool energy. Just kind of blindly jumping off a cliff. Normally, in the other fo most fool decks, there's a, some sort of animal, doggy, or whatever, kind of like, hey, trying to get your attention. I'm assuming, normally in this deck, you have the fox, right? But instead of the fo it's in a box. So your little companion, you've kind of uh, shut away. I mean, you were kind enough to put little holes so they can breathe. <laughs> they don't suffocate, I suppose, but, um, yeah... I don't know, now I'm starting to see that more, like, uh, you were, maybe, Herophant is like, like a, uh, it, it, marriage in this case, I wouldn't always look at this card in this deck as that, but I'm kind of feeling it in this reading, I think you were married, or in a serious commitment, living with someone, engaged, possibly married, I don't see kids yet, we'll, we'll find out if that's your story, don't make it fit if it doesn't, um, well, obviously, if <laughs> if it's you, Gemini, you know your story, right? Uh, yeah, this page of wands um, with these cards, I'm just feeling like, yeah. Now, whatever cho whatever you did, this foolish choice, or, yeah, you made a foolish choice without thinking. Or, you know, I don't know, let's see where it goes. I mean, sometimes we go with our heart, right? It doesn't always work out, sometimes it does. You're in a mode now where, like, you have to make a choice. And um, it's causing a tower moment. So if you're the Gemini watching this, you're going through a tower moment now. Maybe that's why you're watching this or looking for a tower reading to resonate because you're having a, not just a moment, not just a moment, but a tower moment. Okay? Yeah, like I said, the tower is the worst card in the deck. Okay? It is. <laughs> you're falling out, in this, in this particular deck, you're falling out of this plane. I mean, look, let's just keep going and see where this goes. But yeah, not uh, the worst ta worst card you can get, you're going through. If this is your reading and you're feeling this, you're going through it. All right, I'm sorry. Let's see what happens. Okay, the, the future energy is the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is, this is making me feel more and more like you were in or in a very serious relationship, and you stepped out. You. Not your partner. You. And you know if that's your story. Your future, um... The Eight of Cups is, is literally having eight cups. That's a lot of cups. Above that is the Nine of Cups, which is like a wish. Like a wish fulfillment kind of, you know. Uh, I mean, Eight of Cups is like having... You have eight cups. But you don't want them. Whatever's in those cups... You don't want to drink that shit, okay? Maybe it's plain old water, and you don't want water without some lemony lime squeezed in. Maybe it's soda pop, and you decided you're going sugar-free, okay? So you can't drink that shit no more, all right? Maybe the relationship, you know what, we'll ask more, but maybe the relationship that you are, or whatever in, I'm hoping it's not a marriage that's with kids and stuff, because that's gonna, you know, but you have a lot going on, like, in the past, in in your current energy, there's already cups, a, a situation existing, but you want to walk away from it. You want to walk away from it. I mean, this isn't like advice. This is your future, like feelings. So this is you in the future wanting to walk away, either from the decision that you, you're gonna have to make. So, all right, let's ask more, because, like, maybe you stepped out of your relationship, and then you made a choice to be with the other person, and now you're feeling like, I shouldn't have left my, my other cups, you know? The grass wasn't greener. Or, you stayed, because, you know, all the cups. You chose to stay, and you don't want to stay there. You don't want to be with your cups that you had. You know, you want new cups. So let's ask more. 
Let's ask more. Let's see. But yeah, I'm not gonna ignore this biatch here. You're falling. Free falling. Now you're free. Maybe you chose whatever you chose and you ended up alone anyway. Which doesn't know is a bad thing. Oh, bottom of the deck. The uh, Three of Swords happened to be there. So, yeah. Someone got hurt in this three-party situation. Alright. Tell me more about this, um, choice. Alright, I'm asking about the choice. Your current energy, which is in the, the Seven of Cups fallout. The Seven of Cups, if you don't know, is, uh... Look at all these choices. Each cup is a different choice. It's you sitting and kind of looking at all your different choices. Sometimes it's like not being able to make a choice. Um, like each cup, like one cup is like, like family. One is your dreams, you know, like things you've dreamed of wanting or something. Um, maybe like ones, you, it's a lot of choices, okay? Depending on what it's with, being that it, I asked him that I already have this tower here, and, like, I'm trying to make a choice. Yeah, okay, you had too many choices. I don't know. Let's, let's ask you a little more on this, because, uh, on the bottom of the deck, I have the moon. So, that's, like, hidden things. Dark, oh, in this, it's hidden things. I'm starting to feel like, yeah, you're in a relationship, you stepped out of it. Okay, yeah, you got the Ace of Swords. Like, the truth came out, all right? All right, if this is your story, Gemini energy, you're married, living with someone, something, you had, you had, you stepped out. You stepped out. You, st you took a leap of faith from your situation, your serious, like, like, a situation that's, like, involves seriousness man this ain't no like uh hey we're going steady no this is a marriage this is someone you have children with or a business and you took the choo-choo train to coochie town <clears throat> and it seems like making that choice which was kind of indecisive like maybe you were in between the two you know you didn't know what to do all these choices too many choices put you in a tower moment, and the truth came out. The truth came out. I don't know if you, if you told the truth, if you got caught. Let's find out. Future energy. Eight of Cups. Let's see. It's future. What the hell? Does something fall? Does something fall? Did the card fall? Did the card fall? I don't know. I don't think so. Tell me about this Eight of Cups for this Gemini situation. Over. Why? Why is this Eight of Cups here? For this Gemini situation, please. Tell me why this Eight of Cups is here for this Gemini situation. Okay, the, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Okay. That's you. That's your energy. That's how you felt when you started this, like, situation. Like, you were gonna come into your... Your queen of wands energy. Okay, being able to, like, be your true self. Light your fire. You know, looking out, looking out to see, like, things that you only thought you could fantasize about. Like, you're going to do that. You're going to be able to be the queens of the Queen of Wands energy. And you end up giving it to this, like, page. This page of pentacles. He was, like, totally offering something. At the time, you're looking, maybe because you were looking through this, like, lens, it was, like, distorted. He looked better from far away. 
because uh, you ended up having like in the Four of Swords energy, which is hibernating, being in your head. You're hibernating in this. You're sitting in it now. All right, you're like, how could I have felt so like within my my energy, like like able to feel open and and share and and travel for this person, like to looking from afar, things look look different close up sometimes. He's just a page. He wasn't offering that much. Put you really in a place where now you're kind of like you got to think about the choices you've made, how you ended up in this. Okay, this is kind of a. I thought like I was gonna do a Gemini reading and I was gonna have like banana energy, and now I'm like, oh my god. Uh, maybe that's your energy now, you know? You're just wiped out from this shit. It wiped you out. You just wanted to, like, feel the feels, which you felt you deserved. Because you were feeling in your jellyf jellyfish energy. Uh, it's like beauty, wake-up calls, being in the flow, regeneration, immortality, and, and intuition. It's like you felt like I'm going to be able to, like, really embrace and explore, you know, my, uh, my energy with this other person. Maybe you thought this was their energy, that they were going to be trustworthy and loyal. And it doesn't seem like they were. Below that was the cheetah, which is energetic, hyper-focused, aggressive, determined, which sounds more like that page energy. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry, sorry this isn't, like, more uplifting. Gemini, I'm really sorry. I didn't want it to be this way. This is what came through. So someone needs to hear it. This is someone's story. I mean, uh, your advice, my advice personally without asking the cards would be like, the grass isn't always greener. It, it usually is never greener, okay? You know, some things you can't work on. You know, you try, you're in a relationship, it's not working, it, you know, you shouldn't force things that aren't meant to work. Because that's silly and time wasting and all that. But um, loving ourselves first and foremost is the only way we can really love someone else and other people. And even though it's cliche and whatever, it's true. So work on loving yourself. That's what I'm feeling. This like energy is like heavy. It's heavy. It's sad too. It sucks because, like, if you did step out of a situation, maybe you were just doing it, like, because you just wanted to have a good time, and then you got caught, or you had to, like, you know, be like, now I'm caught, I gotta, you know, come clean. And uh, maybe you realized, you know, like, soon in, like, oh my god, this page was not worth it at all. It wasn't the escapade of awesomeness that you thought it was gonna be. And that sucks. Um... Okay, tell me about, okay, it's at the bottom, let's see, so this person was wearing a mask, you thought there was something better? moving forward with this person, but they ended up like, what a flippin' weirdo. Others were involved, packing and screw loose. So from this little bit, I'm getting that like, you stepped out of a relationship that like, you thought like, this is done. Like, I've already given so many, like it was a long-term thing. I don't know if you were married. I don't see kids, so I don't think you were married. Maybe you had a dog or cat or something like, you know, 
had no kids. So for this person, like you had, but you had something, a business, a house, whatever. Maybe you were engaged, maybe you were married. And stepping out, like, I didn't, you didn't want those cups. Too many cups, burden of cups. Like, you didn't want those cups. You, you stepped out, you thought, it's time. And then once you stepped out, you were like, oh crap. Maybe, maybe it was better. Because the person I stepped out to be with, it's like, maybe there was, maybe that person was cheating and had others involved. But you realize it too, too little too late that they had a screw loose. And that, what a flipping weirdo. But you were trying to move forward. You thought there was something worthy there to move forward. Mm. Okay. What's on um, future energy or advice for this Gemini energy? Let's leave them with something good here, because whoever's going through this situation. Okay. Maybe you need to reconnect with your family. The first one that came out was release the beast, which is like, yeah, release your beast. You know what? Right now, in the future of this whole situation, you're going to end up in like, a situ you know, but take some time for yourself. Take some time. Think about things, you know. Marinate it. But then, you're gonna like, move on, okay? Your, your dreams were crushed by this, I'm sorry. But, and I did get stalker vibes. I don't know if that's you right now, kind of, maybe you're heartbroken and you're kind of stalking, or vice versa, the person is just creepy because they were a weirdo. Reconnect with your family. If you don't have blood family, if your pets are family, or your, you know, uh, your friends or family, connect with those people and those animals. Energies that make you feel, energy that makes you feel like this. Okay, I know not everyone has this, but whatever makes you feel warm inside, you gotta get that back. And in the future, just release your, your inner beast. Don't hold back. Sunny days. This is like my happy card in my, my deck. So, this was one of the last cards of the fallout. So sunny days, okay? Like, let go of this old energy. It's icky. It's literally, I swear to you, I feel like depressed now. I shouldn't, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this up because it's so depressing. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm sorry, Gemini. If this is your energy, you need to like sage yourself. Yeah? <sighs> Do, do a little saging. But yeah, this is a pretty serious thing, like stepping out of our relationship because that's what it seems like. And so yeah, actually, it makes sense, right, to be feeling icky. Okay, give me a card. <sighs> give me a card for the future Gemini that's watching this and went through the situation. Um, like, give me something good for them, please. Oh, that's nice. Okay, thank you. Queen of Pentacles. All right, I think I'm gonna like end this reading with this card to say this is like Queen of, Queen of Pentacles growth, fulfillment, um, prosperity, okay? Grounded energy, right? Earth energy. She's beautiful in this card. She looks confident. She's holding what is hers. She's holding what, what she earned and what's hers. So Gemini, if this is your story, I'm sorry that you went through a foolish, um, well you, uh, listen, there are no mistakes. There's lessons and there's blessings. So, you know, you took a risk. Seems like from a serious relationship. And in that, it, your energy was quite immature. And that, making 
currently the choice. Way too many. I mean, I don't know if you're seeing more than one person if you stepped out of a relationship. Maybe you were in a situation where it was like an open thing. I don't know. There's a lot of choices there. But truth, truth was forced to be seen and known. And there was, there was, or is happening now, a tower moment. Look, thankfully, you got tower, right? Which is like, ugh, ick, oh no. But at least it was like past or current energy, not future energy. So you're going through it now. It sucks. But you will survive it. Yeah, and you like walked away from all these cups. I mean, they were pretty cups. The store looks nice. But yeah, you didn't want to put you in the... You definitely... I mean, for you to be in queen energy and give to a, a fucking page is like almost a crime. That's why you put, that's why you you ended up like this. <coughs> Sorry that I hate when people cough. Oh, heart is so annoying. Um, just the sound, like, okay, sorry. So at least here we have some good, fruitful, earth grounded, hotty patati, queen of Pente queen of pentacles energy for your future. Okay, so that's good. That's good, and and I will say. I feel like when you initially made this choice for love, I don't want to forget these three cards, you were really feeling like this was a person that you had some sort of past life or like a deep connection with, or you wouldn't have done this because the Six of Cups wouldn't be here. Um, but the cup, you know, the Ace of Cups. And I think the Hermit is here because you literally like, Hermited out on or ghosted maybe your situation, you know, for this thing that you thought was like so. This is gonna be so wonderful, and it wasn't. It wasn't Five of Swords. It made you feel Five of Swordsy. All right. Well, look, it's over. It's over. What's gonna happen for Gemini in the future? King of Wands fell. Like, okay, this is a warning. This is a warning. You could have this energy. Don't, don't muck it up, okay? Don't muck it up and end up, because, like, this King of Wands in this card, you got a snake here. His face is, like, immature. I don't care, he didn't come out in reverse. He's immature, he's whole never on. Uh, Gemini, beware of, like, I'm thinking this is representing the page from earlier, the same person. They're gonna try to come back <laughs> with their stalker vibes. Maybe that that's for them, that stalker vibe energy. Because they are a dream crusher. I don't wanna say, oh, they were narcissists and all this and that, but Maybe they, maybe they had narcissistic tendencies, like the kind of people that like, <laughs> they just like to, they literally, it was a dream crusher card, because there are people like that, right? They just like, have no reason, and they, I could see, yeah, there it is, the dream crusher. It's like people that like, <sighs> they have no reason, right? Like, like, you're like, why would someone be dishonest about their feelings or want to like mess up my situation or you, whatever and they really have no other reason other than they just have bad mojo and they're just shitty people and they get off on it maybe they're miserable you know what who cares why just get away from that energy okay Gemini this is your reading all right you could have ace of pentacle in the future growth right growth growth this is what you want be in your Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacle energy, okay? And I'm really sorry about this situation, this third party situation. It's caca, it sucks, but lessons, blessings, okay? Learn from it, grow from it. Peace out, Gemini. Till next time.